Hello everyone. Today we are finishing chapter 6 of the Gospel of Mark. We're at verses 45 through 56. Now in, in the last passage, Jesus fed the 5,000. That's 5,000 men plus women and children. Um, it's been an exciting day and it's been a very long day. And as we get into verse 46, or 45, rather, uh, Jesus says, hey, it's time for everybody to go home. It's been great fun. Um, but everybody head home. And then he says to the disciples, it's time for us to go to the north end of the lake, which is where Capernaum is. Anyway, let's go home. You guys go on ahead of me. He sends them into the boat and he goes off to a quiet place to pray. I think it's kind of curious that the disciples didn't think to ask him how he was going to get there, but they all pile into the boat and they start heading north from the south end of the lake to Bethesda. That's the, at least the direction that they're going according to the text. And here's what happens. At verse 47, late that night, the disciples were in their boat in the middle of the lake and Jesus was alone on land. He saw they were in serious trouble, rowing hard and struggling against the wind and waves. Now, I'm going to let you read the rest of, of this chapter on your own to kind of track uh, what ends up happening specifically. But, but there's a theme here that emerges for me. In the last devotional, it was all about the feeding of the 5,000. What did Jesus do? He said, you guys feed them. Well, there was no way they could do that without Jesus' help. They were given an instruction by Jesus that was impossible for them to do without Jesus. This would seem to be the same thing. He's told the disciples, listen, go north, take the boat, that's where I want you to go. They're going there, but they don't have Jesus with them. And so it turns out there's no, the wind is coming straight at them. They can't sail that direction. So they're having to row into the wind, and it is an impossible task. How many of those tasks do we have in our lives where we feel like we're doing the work of God, we're following God's direction, but it seems like everything is getting into our way? Maybe one of the questions we need to ask is whether or not Jesus is on board the boat. St. Augustine, um, commenting on this text, said, He came walking on the waves, and so he put all the swelling storms of life under his feet. Christians, why be afraid? When we have Jesus on board the boat, we don't have anything to fear. The storm may come, and Jesus will calm it when it's time for it to be calmed. But if we don't have Jesus on the boat, then it doesn't matter if the storm's even mild. We won't be able to get where we need to go without Jesus. So I uh, want to send you today thinking about how you can make sure that Jesus is on board the boat with you. No matter how worthy your cause, without Jesus, you'll never get there. So let's make sure we've got Jesus walking alongside us as we seek to serve him and share his love with others. Have a great day, everyone. If these devotional videos are helpful to you, subscribe to our channel and click the notification button so you know when we post a new video. And of course, please share them with others.